everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make an apple cinnamon butter. Now this is not an apple butter recipe where we take apples and we cook them down into a, more of a concentrate. This is an apple butter spread. So you can use it on anything like toast and bagels and even pancakes or waffles. Pretty much anything that you would put butter on, it's great. I was served this recently at a restaurant and I tell you it was a big hit. Everybody loved it. And I said, man, I've got to show it to my peeps and that would be you. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. All right guys, so before we go over the ingredients, I want to do a quick shout out to Jessica in Corpus Christi, Texas and her family of eight children. Hi guys, I am so happy that you guys, you know, like my channel, you, you've been making my recipes I hear and you enjoy them. So thank you so much for your support. And I hope today's recipe, you guys will try it. And if you do, leave me a comment and you could even post up your picture on Facebook or any kind of social media and hashtag Rock and Robin Cooks and I'll get to see your picture. All right, let's go over the ingredients. We'll need some butter and I'm using organic here. And if you can get it from uh, grass fed cows, it's the best. We'll need some applesauce. This is unsweetened, regular white sugar, packed brown sugar, and some ground cinnamon. All we have to do here is take our butter and place it in the bowl. Remember, it's been softened, so it will whip up easily. And that's what we'll do first. We're gonna just take the mixer and whip this up so it'll be easy to blend all the ingredients in. All right, so now I'm gonna add the applesauce and all the other ingredients. Start with that. Here's the white sugar. I'm breaking up the brown sugar so that it's not clumped together. And the cinnamon. Now we're just gonna blend this until everything is really mixed in well. Make sure to scrape down the bowl a couple of different times just to make sure everything gets mixed in well. All right guys, that's it. Just make sure that you whip this up for about a minute so that the sugars can dissolve in the butter and you're done, that's it. So now I'm just gonna place this right here in my little container and I will of course store it in the refrigerator, cover it up with a little saran wrap and it's ready to go when you are. Now, like I said, delicious on toast, pancakes, you know, waffles, whatever you wanna try it on, guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. I sure enjoyed making it for you. I can't wait to eat some of this and I hope you'll try it and leave me a comment and let me know how you, how you liked it. All right, so if you haven't subscribed yet, Click that button up there and you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. And if you have any recipe requests for me, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Take care. Apple butter on toast, it's phenomenal. You gotta try it.